was of course the main event, but our Alyssa Jackson was downtown all evening for the after party. She shows us how police are handling the big crowds tonight. Around almost every corner, we saw a presence of police officers, but what you don't typically see is their mounted patrol, and their main job was to control the crowds. And moving the crowds along to get them to go home. If there's an arrest and the crowd gets hostile, we will come in and like circle the wagons around the officers that are doing the arrest. If there's an emergency situation, e ambulance or something needs to come in, we can split that crowd and escort the ambulance or the four-wheeler or whatever they've got that's coming in. They have a view that officers on foot might not get to see. We're highly visible. As you can tell, we draw a crowd wherever we go. We bring a big sense of security. This year we have four other officers from Mobile, Alabama. It's actually Sergeant Chris Giatana's first in the hostess city, but he knew what to expect. They come down and they get to assist us during Mardi Gras, so they invited us to come up here and help them during their uh, St. Patrick's Day festivities because of the crowd, the size of the crowd, and um, they know we're used to our horses are used to crowds and we're used to dealing with this amount of people. Speaking of the crowds, it was definitely a bigger turnout this year than last year. Savannah showed out, but tourists from all over stopped in too. Well, the first time we came, we just wore beads and we saw everyone else was like in this spirit. So we went out and we got up. It took us a month to get all our stuff. We got like three different uh, change of outfits. As one of the biggest St. Patrick's Day parades in the country, of course we get some comparison. New Orleans is a little bit wilder. You know, this is more like family, laid back, uh, good for just walking, meeting people. The party continues into the weekend, but as far as a parade, many people say that it felt like St. Patrick's Day again. In Savannah, Alyssa Jackson, WTOC News.